Hello and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop. I'm Frank Foster, your host, and today we're going to talk about United States Army identification badges. And we're going to cover everything from a presidential identification badge, vice president identification badge, joint staff, army recruiter, one or two you've obviously never seen, and I guarantee you two or three that you do not ever want to see. So stick with me, you'll enjoy it. Okay, let's go. Of course, one of the most prestigious badges in all of Washington, D.C. is the Presidential Service Identification Badge, which is a replica of the Presidential Coat of Arms and superimposed on a dark blue enamel disc. It is given by the President to members of the Armed Forces for their service at the White House or military units supporting the White House directly. Once a badge is earned, it becomes a permanent part of a recipient's uniform and may be worn after a recipient leaves the presidential service. In the case of the Army, it's worn on the lower right-hand pocket or on the mess dress uniform over your liver, so to speak. The Vice Presidential Service Identification Badge was established in 1970, and it has the seal of the Vice President of the United States superimposed on a white enamel disc. The badge is awarded in the name of the Vice President to members of the Armed Forces who've been assigned for duty in his office for a period of at least one year after 1969. Now, once earned, the badge becomes a permanent part of the uniform and is worn in the same place as the Presidential Service Identification Badge. The badge on the left is an older version, and the badge on the right is the current version. The Office of the Secretary of Defense Identification Badge comes after the Presidential and Vice Presidential Service Identification Badges, and it was originally issued in 1949 and had the heroic name of National Military Establishment Identification Badge. Uh, and then they tried to improve it and renamed it the Department of Defense Identification Badge. And finally, in the early 60s, it was given its current name of Secretary of Defense Identification Badge. And it's awarded after one year of service in the office of OSD. The badge itself is pretty impressive, as you can see. It's a two inches wide, and it has a golden eagle with its wings outspread, the national shield in the very center. The eagle is holding three arrows. And then in the outer circle, the top part has 13 gold stars. And then below is a wreath of laurel and olive and green enamel below the eagle is worn in the center of a left breast pocket of a dress uniform and between the two top buttons on the best dress uniform. The next of what I call the Pentagon badges is the Joint Chiefs of Staff Identification Badge and it is awarded to staff and support personnel assigned to the Office of the Chairman and the Joint Staff and it becomes a permanent decoration after over a year of assignment to the Joint Staff. The badge itself is pretty impressive. It's an oval silver metal badge with a wreath of laurel going around the outside of it. It's two and a half inches high and two inches wide. And in the center is a shield of the United States. And then it has four gold metal unsheathed swords that represent the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Marine Corps. And of course, for those who don't recognize it, it does say Joint Chiefs of Staff. Female personnel wear it is shown on the dress uniform to the left and for male personnel on the left pocket in the center. Next comes an identification badge that all soldiers can now identify with and that's the Army's Combat Service Identification Badge which uniquely identifies a soldier's combat service with a specific major U.S. Army unit. Prior to adopting the blue uniform, on the green uniform, the combat patch was worn on the right sleeve, as shown in this example. The combat service identification badge is worn centered on the right breast pocket for male soldiers and on the right side parallel to the waistline for female soldiers. It will probably be phased out with the introduction of the new pinks and green uniform and a return of the combat identification patch going on the right sleeve of the new pinks and greens. The Army General Staff Badge is issued to soldiers who work in the office of the Secretary of the Army or on the Army General Staff, normally at the Pentagon. After one year's service, it can become a permanent badge. The badge itself features the General Staff Detail Branch Insignia, about twice the size of a normal branch insignia, resting on a wreath of green laurel leaves. The star is symbolic of the highest level in the Army, 
and the mission of the general staff to exercise supervision over the land forces of the United States. On the Army uniform, the badge is worn centered on the right breast pocket. However, where the badge is authorized on the left pocket, when worn in conjunction with the Deployment Combat Service Identification Badge or the Combat Badge. The Guard of the Unknown Soldier Identification Badge is authorized for soldiers who are members of the Guard on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The badge can be authorized permanent wear for soldiers who served honorably for a minimum of nine months and are recommended by their commander. The identification badge of the Guard of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a beautifully designed silver metal badge for wear on the right breast pocket of a uniform. It is made of frosted and cut silver with highlights polished. Designed as an inverted wreath of laurel and olive leaves intertwined at the top of the badge. In the center of the wreath is a replica of the tomb of the unknown soldier resting on a platform with the words Honor Guard. The Drill Sergeant Identification Badge is one that every young soldier gets to learn about up front and personal and is probably the first badge that they get to see on another soldier and it is awarded for completing the drill sergeant school and as a tour as a drill sergeant. It can be authorized for permanent wear and is worn on the right breast pocket of a Class A dress uniform. The U.S. Army Recruiter Identification Badge is normally awarded to non-commissioned officers of the recruiting command. Some of the older versions are shown on the left. The new version is a gold recruiting badge which can be awarded to wear permanently Male soldiers wear it on the left breast pocket and female soldiers wear it about waist high on the left side. After the Vietnam War in 1991, the Army Surgeon General requested a unique recruiter's badge as shown here for Army medical recruiters. It was in use until June 2001 when it was replaced by the Army Recruiter Identification Badge. The Career Counselor's Badge is a temporary award assigned to non-commissioned officers who are working with U.S. Army Recruiting Command, basically uh, encouraging active duty soldiers to re-enlist. This gold National Guard Recruiter Badge was replaced by a new design in 2004, as shown to the right, and the new Army National Guard Recruiting and Retention Badges are for basic, senior, and expert. Another obsolete badge is the U.S. Army Reserve Recruiting Badge, which was replaced in 2001 by the U.S. Army Recruiter Identification Badge shown earlier. The National Defense University Identification Badge is one that most of us have never seen before. It's given to Army personnel assigned to the faculty and staff of the National Defense University, the National War College, the Industrial College of the Armed Forces, and the Armed Forces Staff College. It is only for wear when assigned to one of those schools. The Unified Combat Command Identification Badges are authorized for wear by Army personnel when assigned to one of these 12 commands, and they're worn on the left side of the uniform on the left breast pocket. The commands include the United States Africa Command, the United States Central Command, European Command, Cyber Command, the Indo-Pacific Command, the United States Southern Command, Special Operations Command, the Strategic Command, the Northern Command, the Transportation Command, the Joint Forces Command, which has been deactivated, and the United States Space Command, which was deactivated but now reactivated. A relative new badge is the Army Instructor Identification Badge, which was started in 2014 and is awarded to non-commissioned officers who have earned credit as instructors in the non-commissioned officer education system. It is a permanent badge and can be awarded in three levels depending on the amount of training completed. The Army Military Police Badge is only authorized for wear by military policemen and only when on duty as a military policeman. Additionally, CID agents have a badge and there is a special identification badge for members of the Army Counterintelligence. The Physical Fitness Badge was established in 1986 and awarded to soldiers who obtained a minimum score of 290 points on the Army Physical Fitness Test. Here are a couple of badges that you'll very seldom see, the Army ROTC Nurse Cadet Program Identification Badge and a special badge for military horsemen 
who normally serve at Arlington Cemetery. I would be terribly remiss if I did not identify two well-known distinguishing marks. The overseas service bar is an army decoration displayed as an embroidered gold bar worn horizontally on the right sleeve of a U.S. Army Class A uniform. The overseas service bar is awarded for each six months overseas in a combat zone. The service stripes, traditionally called a hash mark by soldiers, is worn by enlisted soldiers to denote the length of service. The Army awards each stripe for three years' service. The hash marks of stripes go on the left sleeve. The overseas service bars go on the right sleeve. Just as a footnote, the earlier blue uniforms often featured hash marks that were much larger than those currently used on the blue uniform, and the new pinks and greens will also have hash marks as shown on the left sleeve here. Thank you for joining us today for our show on the United States Army identification badges. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought some of them are pretty interesting, especially the presidential identification badge. And then there's a couple that I hope you never do get to see, uh, like the CID and so on. By the way, all of the information today came from our newest book, United States Army Medals, Badges, and Insignia, available for you on Amazon. You'll enjoy it. <laughs>